Happy New Year from Belgium. It's ball time. January 1st, final vlog of the European trip, and let's get it. And I'm about to stall the car a lot. All right, so far, yelled at some parking guard attendants, went up some wrong way streets, found our parking incidentally, and now we're on a nice uh, 3K walk to find our inscriben. Well, it took me 30 minutes to pre-ride two laps because it was that heavy and slow. I'm just absolutely covered. Yeah, everything I'm wearing is destroyed. Um, and I cannot emphasize how strongly it smells of manure. Like, everything I'm wearing just smells like cow poop. Just like, like, it's, yeah. It's like it's all over my face and it's directly under my nose, so. Mm. Come on, Caleb! Come on, Caleb, let's go! Up, 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 up! Come on, Caleb! Let's go, Caleb! Up, 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 up! Caleb! Go, Caleb! Come on, buddy, let's go! Go, Caleb! Let's go, Caleb! Nice work. Nice work. That's from the cabin. Smells like absolute cow shit. Post-race here, the camper is very full. This is our camper. The Ford Fiesta. All right, post ball race report. Definitely not filming this in Wisconsin. Insanely heavy course, just like thick, thick mud with um, incredibly gnarly ruts, lots of fast downhills. So basically, you had to bond on these hills, nail your rut, or risk being cross rutted and just absolutely die. So everything was very high risk, um, which made it both scary and fun. So it was a very unfun course to pre ride because it was so heavy and slow. But then racing it is actually fun because you're going full gas and you can actually like ride everything. But I finished up 20, look at my results, 26, the better than last year. Honestly, had a ton of fun doing it. Still didn't beat Stibar yet, but we're working on it. I don't care. <laughs> there you go. Coxida, uh, it's, what day is it, Thursday? It's Thursday the 4th, and it's not raining. So far, I've raced on a Monday this week. Now I'm racing on a Thursday. Yeah. Average coxida race aftermath. Well, here's what happened to my uh, saddle yesterday. Not ideal i don't think i've gained any weight so uh that carbon saddle should have held up but it did not so yeah but cox saddle race report crazy i mean it was sand with mud in between the sand so normally you run dunes or other file treads to glide through the sand easier but it was so muddy that you couldn't really do that because you couldn't pedal to the mud sections so I ran a Grifo in the front, and most people ran Grifos, but I had Grifo front, or sorry, Grifo rear, Dune front at 15, 16 PSI. But yeah, had a good clean start. Passed Tom Ayusin, he really passed me back. Tried to hold on to Stipar again, didn't work. But yeah, settled into a group, was making progress, ticking guys off, holding my own. Um, on that third lap, yeah, I broke my saddle, lost a couple spots. And then I think I got pulled after like 45 minutes because Vanderpool was winning by a lot. So it's a little tricky to complete a whole race with him doing what he's doing lately. Um, yeah, finished up 33rd, which was a couple spots better than last year when I was 36th. And yeah, I think if not for the broken saddle for half a lap when I could not really pedal sitting down, I think I could have been at least four or five spots higher. It would have been nice to sneak into the top 30 there. Um, but we have Hulahem up next, which is a great one for me. Alrighty, it is, God, what day is it? Saturday, January 6th, Hulahem CX today. Spelled like Gulligim. Gotta fire up some eggs. 
Fun fact, you don't have to refrigerate eggs in Europe because of the process of, I don't know, washing them or not. Got the oatmeal going. Got the coffee going. It's uh, raining. Shocker. Made it to... God, where am I? Hold the That's right. I can't keep track anymore. This is my third race of the week. Four in total. I'm sitting in the uh, camper, aka the Ford Fiesta. I'm staying warm because it's 40 degrees and raining. And about to go run around in a flooded field for fun. Fun, they say. This is your reminder that you should bring extras of everything. This is what I'm racing in, which is totally different from what I'm pre-riding in. The only thing for my pre-ride that I will also race in is this helmet and my heart rate strap because it's all going to get so muddy and wet and be so uncomfortable. On a pre-ride, take it all off, put it in a garbage bag, power wash it. And then put on the clean, warm, dry shoes, socks, jersey, skin suit, blah, 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 everything else for race time. So that you're not miserable and wet and cold. More likely to be uncomfortable and or sickly. Let's go, Caleb. Hey, hey, 23rd at Hulahem, but the real victory was that I finally beat Zdenek Stibar in a bike race. This has been a big goal for Matisse, for me, because <laughs> Matisse is uh, he's a large Stibar fan. He's Stibar is Matisse's hero. Um, so yeah, I rode around in a freezing cold, muddy field of literal cow poop and standing water and raced as hard as I could with mediocre legs, but I beat Stibar. Um, it's a good, fun, simple course. Yeah, had a good, clean start, all that good stuff. All these races are blending together, I'm not going to lie, but yeah, I really like Holohem. It's just a good, simple, classic Belgian cross. Rinse and repeat. Everything's power washed off at the race. Helmets, gloves, everything else is drying. Laundry is started. Yeah, back-to-back -back days are a little bit of a tricky one when uh, everything's all muddy. But and you have to drive an hour or so back from the race or more. But uh, yeah, one more race to go. Morale is medium high, which is better than any other block of racing I've ever finished in Europe in the past three years straight. Just what we needed for our last race in Belgium. A snowstorm. I'm excited. So excited. Beautiful day for some cycle cross. It is, yeah, it's still snowing. Here's my delicious, my last supper. My last CX supper, we'll call it. I was gonna film this outside and make it of my bike, but it's cold as heck, so I'm just gonna talk about it. I'm running dunes, 19, 19.5. You go really low for the sand. I would go lower, but there's a lot of rocks that are coming up. Um, and I don't want to, and it's also high speed. So you, if, when you hit the rocks, you hit them fast. And the goal is to not flat. It also stopped snowing. Um, so morale is increasing. It's not actually that really muddy at all. So that's nice. It's not, and it's wet enough that the sand is actually way tackier and not as fluffy. So wet sand is so much easier to ride than dry sand. So as a result, there's very little running on the course. You can clear almost all the sections. If you were to ride a perfect lap, I'd say there's one mandatory dismount for that quick 180, and then you run up. But otherwise, I Vanderpool probably will only be off his bike once a lap. And if I'm not in too much traffic, I'll be off my bike only once or twice a lap. So money, not too much running, which normally I'm okay with. But at this point, four races this week, my body's tired. And yeah. I'm busting out the Castelli Thermal CX skin suit for this one. Yeah, this thing is fleecy and cozy. I'm also racing in leg warmers, if that tells you how cold it is. It has to be like sub 35 for that. So, warm up tights, leg warmers underneath, skin suit, long sleeve jersey, and puffy jacket for pre ride or not pre ride. Warm up. <laughs> And that's that. Finished up 40th at Zonhoven World Cup. Cam Mason crashed at the start along with some other guys, and I got slightly stuck behind that, but was able to cover pretty well without having to fully stop and get bogged down. 
eventually found my rhythm in a good group. It was pretty high speed overall, so drafting was important. Um, was on track to finish on the lead lap, was sitting on my group of the three other guys going into that last lap, and then even though we should have been finishing because Vanderpool was on his last lap too, they pulled us for no reason. So I finished up 40th and did not get to pass those guys. But um, one of my better combined U23 and elite European World Cup results, honestly, and was on track for doing a little better of that. And technically, I finished on the lead lap in a Santa race with Matthew Vanderpool. So I'll take it. Monday, January 8th. Spent the day packing up bikes and clothes and everything else and relaxing. After an hour of delays and traffic, due to crazy Brussels traffic, we have made it to Brussels Airport. So there we go. That's my very abbreviated travel home to Madison, Wisconsin. I'm back here resting up, hanging out with the family, hanging out with Milo. And I'm going to drive back to Montana this weekend. Um, yeah, that's that's the season. Um, decided not to go to Spain and train or do Worlds. Figured I'll just say it now. I'm not going to post about it. If you're watching this, you get a sneak preview of my season plans. But, yeah, I want to go home and ski and but okay, most importantly, see my girlfriend and my puppy, then ski, and also see my sister. She, hopefully, she doesn't watch this. Well, hopefully, she does, but hopefully, she uh, interprets this well. Sorry, Izzy. Yeah, it's been a solid season. Uh, my third elite race season. Um, didn't accomplish all the goals I wanted to, but uh, made progress in Europe, made progress at the domestic World Cups. Um, yeah, I mean, the level of US, race, US racing was high and um yeah i had some good luck had some bad luck you know things happen got sick you know crash nationals this that and the other got flat tires it's all part of the game and um yeah not not exactly a dream season but i'm living my dream racing bikes for a living and i'm grateful to be, to be doing that so thank you for watching and thank you to uh, my wonderful sponsors my friends my family and everybody else and all all you fans and youtube people who are interested in watching these videos so thanks